The image on the cover of Chronogram this month is Hug Deli taken at Burning Man. It's a great image, great feeling for the holiday especially. And I'd go back for another hug. That's my little story, and it's a good one. Since I'm an opportunist and I'm able to follow my curiosity, I decided to take the trip across country and go to Burning Man, which is an art event that takes place every year for eight days in an incredibly inhospitable environment. Nothing is there. No water, no superstructure, no electric grid, absolutely nothing. In fact, it's a wilderness. I am sort of a closet anthropologist. For me, it's like being a treasure hunter in the world. I go out, figure out what I want to do, stuff like this. I go out into my forest, I pick mushrooms. I pick little things that happen in the forest and I put them around the mushrooms. Burning Man is great. It echoes the place that is very deep inside of me because I grew up in Woodstock and Burning Man is what Woodstock sort of embodies. It's an art-driven festival. My Woodstock background, my anthropology, and my philosophy all coalesced into the book that I created after three trips to Burning Man. What is it about? I came back to Woodstock on my way home I started putting two and two together and I said, my God, this place is like, like Woodstock. It is Woodstock. It's a Woodstock in the desert. You don't have to be an artist, but mostly people show off. I mean, for a photographer, there's nothing better than an exhibitionist. When I came back and started thinking about Woodstock, I found Hervey White, whose philosophy was do whatever you want as long as it doesn't hurt anyone else. So that became the theme of my book. I try to place Burning Man and Woodstock in a cultural American niche. And I basically call it a form of transitory utopianism. That's what my book's about. I went around and I photographed people. I photographed the art installations. I mean, there are some pictures between Burning Man and Woodstock in 1924 where you would be hard pressed, if I put them both in black and white, to see which one was Burning Man and which one was Woodstock in 1924 because they were almost interchangeable. It's pretty amazing. I basically am following my curiosity. That's how I move through life as an artist. Most of my art is, I have to say, nature-based, whether it be mushrooms or twigs or leaves. And I consider the best form of art, humanity. So I love taking pictures of people, especially their faces. I love to look into their eyes and just really pick up what's in there. And everyone's unique, and I love it.